Uh, thank you very much for inviting the, me and the Federation of Swedish Farmers. Uh, we actually celebrated 100 years of anniversary this year. And uh, I work for the Department of Forest Owners, the family forester. And uh, internationally, we work with International Forestry, uh, Family Forestry Alliance. So I will give a forestry, as Madam Moderator said, a forestry perspective on, on these issues. Uh, one, one perspective is the landscape perspective, water regulation, erosion control. This is the Swedish landscape, and this actually uh, shows you 100 years of, of forest restoration. We have doubled the amount of, of wood in our forest. 50% of the forest is privately owned, and out of that, 38% is owned by women. We are proud for that. An example of agroforestry in Sweden is pastures. Pastures with, with trees, like, like this one, is a very common way to, to provide food for, for cows and others. Um, the sustainable forest management is indeed a link and gives support to food security as well as landscape resilience. There are indirect ways. 2.4 billion people uh, cook their, their food and clean their water by wood energy. 1.3 billion build shelters and houses of primarily of, out of wood. Deforestation, degradation, de degraded landscapes, leads to soil erosion. Uh, when I was working in Kenya, we worked with trees to try to fix the terraces to uh, avoid and to manage water and erosion. This was quite many years ago when I worked in Burkina Faso for three years. And trees can have direct impact on, on, uh, on food. We have fruit trees, as in this example with a mango, wind shelter to provide, to, to keep the, for, the soil moisture in the, in the early days of the rain period, thorny species to keep out the goat from the vegetables, nitrofixigen species such as acacia for fertilizing the soil, trees for medicine, fungi, and pest control. You, you see here the, the direct use and integration of trees and, and agriculture, the agroforestry. And to shift the agriculture ecosystems to healthier and more resilient systems, both biologically as well as economically. We have a close collaboration with FAO. And uh, here you, you see the, at the Committee on Forestry where the FAO wanted to us in the IFFA to speak up and, and send our message here. And we work very close to Forest and Farm Facility, which as, as you can hear by the name, Forest and Farm. That's very, very nice and very, very good approach to, to do this, these things. And um, we would like a tighter collaboration with IFAD as well uh, at meetings and events uh, and on these, these issues that I've been talking to you about here. Uh, forest and farm producer organizations is a key thing here. And this is a complicated picture, but it really shows what you can achieve and how we can deal with not the least the SDG 1 and 2. Climate smart and rural development. The prerequisites for success. It's fundamental importance of involving the local communities and people as Mr. President so beautifully stated in, in the end of his, his statement, sustainable and long-term planning need and follow secure tenure and user rights. Forest and tree growers in collaboration provides the basis for respect and fair treatment from the market and officials and bring better livelihoods. To make people plant and care of trees, and in the Swedish case, for coming generation, that is true climate change work, that is true uh, good for the landscape, that is true resilience in our lives. And uh, to keep the trees growing, that is actual climate change uh, mitigation. Uh, dear friends, forest and food security and nutrition goes hand in hand. I thank you very much for your attention.